Hello. In this tutorial I will show you how to make dust ground explosion from my last video. I will show you quickly, but you can always press pause or return to problematic moment. Let's make a sphere. Switch to front view, and press tab to make the sphere editable. Also switch the wireframe mode to see the back faces. Select the bottom part of the sphere and delete it. Return to object mode, go to the modifier list and choose a sub-surf modifier. For viewport set it value to 3. Also let's add a displacement modifier. In displacement texture settings choose cloud texture. Switch from soft to hard. Now we can apply both modifiers. Our emitter is almost done. The last what we need in this part it scale a bit our mesh along different axis to make it narrow and higher. Like that. Good. We have prepared our emitter. But before we create a particle system for it, we need to animate its scale. We select the mesh. Choose the scale channel and set a keyframe in the first frame. Then move the slider to the fifth frame, and scale up the mesh. After that set keyframe in the fifth frame. Let's create a new particle system to this mesh. The number of the particles set to 30,000. Stopping emission set to 5. Lifetime make 350 frames. Let's play animation. Particles is falling down. But before fix it want to decrease particle size. So I go to viewport section in the particle setting and make it much smaller. Good. Now open velocity bar and set object velocity to 3. As you see now particles react to increasing of our mesh. But its behavior still doesn't perfect. Let's set object aligned on Z axis to 2.5. After that particles got a little pushing up. But as you see explosion still doesn't look like explosion of the video at the beginning. There is no explosion burst. To make the burst let's try set normal velocity to 0. Yes. Now we got the burst. And the only thing that I don't like in its behavior it is particle speed. It is too slow. So let's go in physics section, open integration panel and increase time step value to 0.07. And now we got what we wanted. Now we need a floor. For that I create a plane. Go to the physics section and activate collision. Increase stickness to 10 and set friction to 1. With this settings our particles won't slide on the plane. Good. Now our particles rendered like point while we need render it like dust particles and ground pieces. So let's create an icosphere. Make it smaller. It will be our dust particles. For creating ground pieces I will use rock generator. Rock generator is a simple generator of rocks and you couldn't see it before you activated extra mesh add-on in your preferences. Good. Now I create a new collection and call it particles. Move rock and icosphere into this collection. Then select your emitter and go to particles render settings. Choose render like in collection and choose particles collection. Now our rock particles is too small so I scale it up a little bit. Also let's make particles less uniform. For that I increase randomness parameter. Now I want to make number of rock particles less than dust particles. For that I will use count option. Set icosphere value to 30. And rock value leave without changes. Increase icosphere scale a little bit. Good. Now we can disable emitter visibility in viewport and render. Also let's move rock and icosphere far from view. Good. Our work is done. Play with the different parameter of these setup and you will get even more interesting results. That's all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe on my channel or leave the comment. In the end of my experiments with the particle settings I set particles number to 5 million. After that I got a fantastic explosion. My PC blew up. So that was my last tutorial on this channel. Goodbye.